What's good, guys? So today, let's play Bodvar. I want to talk about this guy a bit. The face of Brawlhalla, pretty much. Let's see what we can do with him. So Bodvar is like a character that, as you would expect, for one that pretty much is the first, I guess, like the first design, the face, like I said, of a game. He has like the most basic stats as well as uh, SIGs, you know, nothing's really extreme about him, which I think, especially right now, works to his advantage. You know, they have, there's been power creeps with like new characters and whatnot, like Petra is a good example, just design wise and how they've evolved with like the signatures and stuff. But I think Bodvar is a really good example of how old can still contest with the new, even though there is a very evident power creep. Just the fact that Bodvar has simple, but such strong signatures. And not to mention that he, uh, he also has hammer and sword, which are just an absurd combination. Like, so, I mean, sword's there as a comfort pick for most. And then the hammer, if you can't get the knockouts with sword, you can just go right on and try and play hammer. So that's really, really, really nice. So let's play a little sword. We got a stock lead, mainly worked with hammer. All right, it's even now. I think it's also important to note that on Bodvar, you have a pretty much even, I would say across the board, he's a character that if just played well, you're gonna pretty much have even matchups. There's not gonna be anything that he's really like hard losing, I would say. So, let's see how much one. Oh, we'll get a roll back. That's fine, though. Nah, he's... George D is not one to... Go down. Alright. I actually don't know this matchup. How, uh... Oh, my gosh. That was the closest. I had to be pixels away. Okay, one. Two. Oh yeah, that D-Sig, by the way. There's some stuff. That reminds me, I want to talk about that SIG in particular. There's a few SIGs, namely that one, that you can do like a string with that they can't jump out of. If you do D-Light into GC D-Sig, you actually can't jump out of it. So if they have no dodge and you are off stage, that's almost like, I mean, in some cases, that probably is the most optimal thing to go for. Maybe I can hit it one of the games today. I probably could have gotten away with double D light there. I know another one. It's funny. I think the person who actually uses Bodvar's SIGs uh, in the most unique way right now is is probably Ithro. If you've ever seen Ithro play, he's one to try and go for some, like, if I'm being honest, kind of stupid stuff. But he's the one that namely uses the... Uh, GC D sig after a D light. We got there, yeah, we do. Nice. All right, so we got George D again. Okay. Let's just see. I think um, another note with Bodvar is that you can take like any stance with him. I think that's like, oh, he's hundred percent dead. I think that's such just like. An important thing people tend to overlook is that there's not one stance in particular i mean you could obviously say dex is by far the useless because dex really is only useful when there's like a specific combo that's locked behind um you know a certain dex number which kind of feels stupid but it also is like one of the few ways you can make dex work so there probably is something with hammer at seven decks that i'm just not aware of but you could run seven decks it takes away a defense if i'm not mistaken so both are still left with he's still left with four defense which honestly is not that bad like at all maybe i can hit him with stomp and sig let's see or i could kill him with mafia two options here buried his face in the ground and i lose my weapon I wish there was an animation for me to know when I would lose the weapon. 
Oh, absolutely baited. Now, that was ground pound by him was going to miss anyways. But we take those. I think that's my favorite sig on the kit. That side sig that Bodvar has, they actually ended up going back and fixing the hitboxing. It's been a while now, but I'm still so incredibly glad that they did because the hitboxing for a period of time was straight absurd. Like, no other way to put it. It would hit everywhere. It would hit in front. It would hit, uh, what is he doing? It would hit like stacked where basically the hammer wasn't swinging. It was just, it was crazy, but I think they did a good job like reworking that. That's a SIG hitboxing that definitely needed it. And SIG, oh, he thought about it. Nope. Saving dodge there was a smart idea. Ooh, okay. I'm dead. I, I For a minute, I thought he was going to just not do it again, but he actually capitalized. Ensig. Get him off there. I should be able to hit. One stomp stair might do it in. That's what's really nice. Is that I know... I know Sword can't get the kill right here easy, but Hammer is just so fantastic for it. I wonder, you guys need to let me know, because I know the most popular character in the game is Mordex. I, you know, that was one of my more recent videos. Most popular and least popular. I wonder where Bovar kind of falls right now with all of that. He's got to be pretty high, right? I mean, the guy's literally like, like I said, the face of Rohala. There's a, uh, yeah, that's just not an exaggeration or anything, not being dramatic. He, I mean, he is. Oh, wow. That bomb almost killed him. One more. Oh, that would have been it. I could have done the, des the desig string. Wrong way. I gave him all the time in the world. All right. That side sig, I know when I play Lil Capped, at least in twos, I always have gotten caught by that. It is, like I said, very simple, but I mean, it is super effective. All right, hitting through stage. We're not mad though. Yeah, we are. I can't believe that hit me. I got out of that, luckily. Yeah, I'm 100% dead. Orb, side light, side air might not have the most force, but on Petra, I mean, it doesn't really matter. That's what makes Petra great, aside from the SIGs, is the fact that you can kill a lot earlier and rack up a lot more defense. All right. Back up, maybe? D-SIG? I could have tried to get away with an N-SIG, but D-SIG, if I got it a little higher, it might have been able to spike. Weapon toss up. Bop. No way. What? I planned that perfectly. No way that missed. In my, you know, in an alternate universe, though, it hit. All right, we'll just ride with that. Somewhere, somehow, that actually connected. Okay. Oh, George D starting to heat up. Oh, I almost caught him with it. Set air. Nice. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I stuffed that out. That's actually a. Wait, I managed to stuff a side sig out with end light. You gotta love hammer. All the priority in the world. Okay, finally actually jumping one of his. Maybe I can. I don't know. If I just did it with one chase dodge, I would have gotten him for sure. Yep. What is he going to do? He's 100% dead. No, one more though. If I hit the same spot. I am not going to question that. How he sat on top of me. Okay, so those were just a few games with Bodvar. Uh, GG's to George, I guess, since he's the only one I got. But just to go over the stances, I guess, you can pretty much run whatever you desire. Like I said, I mentioned the deck stance probably being the only one you're not really going to want to opt for. But if you actually see some sort of benefit, then, you know, you can use it without too much harm for defense. Isn't honestly that bad. Doesn't really matter. Strength, 
pretty nice, but probably not necessary since he has hammer. Base stance, I mean, if you don't know what else to pick, probably just run with this. Speed, if you just want a little more movement. I know, like, Remy, he opts for this. He's one of the uh, local Bodvar players, so this is what he's running. Defense, Lil Cap will run this. I should mention Ithro runs this too. Um, yeah, then Lil Cap runs defense, so there's a pretty much a good variety. Silly Gobi is probably the only person I've seen who runs strength. So there's a good amount of people who will use these different stances, but it's pretty much up to your discretion. He's a good 1v1 and 2v2 character, so it's no surprise that there are a lot of people who play them. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys.